Oh yeah, I did put that. Lana on there. I want to do Lana Del, Del Rey. Her music, not her as a person. <laughs> but hello everybody, welcome. We are back with part two of the discussion. Although it's going to end up being part like what four or five on on YouTube because we'll we split these up. But we're back with some uh, basically a few of the people that were here last time. Um, very small crowd. It might get bigger as it goes on. I don't know. But uh, the smaller the crowd, uh, the better I've found. Not to say that big crowds aren't great, but more people can say more things when, uh, you know, it's a smaller crowd. So we have Twig, of course. Hello, Twig. Hello. I'm ready to argue in the comments with people <laughs> again. It's, it's, this was worth I was so hilarious last time. I feel like I need to put like the fire overlay on people's comments this time because yeah. you're, what you're going to be saying is positive, but everyone else <laughs> is going to be like, what? Yeah. Um, we got uh, Raspberry is back as well. Hello. What's up, guys? What's up? Um, and we also have Sponge has returned for also his favorite section of New Order. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Um, okay, and then I don't even know if anyone is like in the uh, the text chat, but we're just gonna we're just gonna kick it right off. I put together all of the albums um, in order, like top to bottom, favorite to least favorite, and then I did like favorite songs, but I couldn't really put them in any order. Um, so I just have like a list of my favorite New Order songs, and I'll post all that stuff at the end once we're done talking about everything. Um, but uh, I, I suppose we'll just kick it off with Republic. Um, so I, I kind of skimmed through all these albums again. Um, and, and Twig, I think you'll be happy to know that Republic is now only my third least favorite. <laughs> yeah, it, it, moved, it moved up a little bit, a little bit. Time, time has healed the wound a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, just real quick, track by track. You still, you still, yeah. still have it at two, so... I, I don't think I went through and updated my rankings oh. of anything on uh, Rate Your Music, but I need to. After these discussions, because like, I go through and I listen and I rank everything, but then I I don't like go back and re- fix my mm. ratings right afterwards, but I should. Okay, so Regret, classic, great guitar, even better bass. It's just a fantastic uh, 90s track. World, um, it's not a bad one. Nice instrumentation, okay chorus. Um, Ruined in a Day, I think, is quite solid, actually. It has a great vibe. Um, and it may be a bit boring or overstays its welcome, but overall, I don't think it's bad. Spooky. Uh, okay chorus, but the rest of the song is kind of boring to me. Um, and then this middle part is kind of the lull for me. Everyone Everywhere is yawn. Young Offender is another boring one. Liar, I think, is okay. Uh, has some okay elements, but it doesn't really stand up very well on its own as a track. Um... Chemical, yet again, boring. Uh, Times Change is is a good one, I think. It has cool instrumentation, like Ruined in a Day. But similar to that track, it kind of overstays its welcome a little bit. Also, the rapping, <laughs> but the choruses are okay. Uh, special uh, is just, just really bland and five minutes long. Eh. Uh, and then Avalanche, I like. Cool instrumental track. Doesn't fit with the rest of the album tone, per se, but it's at least good. Um, and I've I've gone through and I've like put bold on the songs I like and then italicize the songs I kind of like. So the ones I do like are Regret, World, Ruined in a Day, Times Change, Avalanche, and then I kind of like Liar. So that's me on Republic. Uh, Twig, what do you what do you have to say? Okay, I'll post my track. Track listing ratings. Liar's my least favorite. But yeah. Um, so I think that this album is just fantastic. Um, I think that what what how it how it differs from their 80s material so i'm definitely more partial to 90s style of production and the more house sensibilities that this record has and i don't know it may you may find it like background music-esque mm. in some senses because it does sort of lay on the same sounds a little um, bit yeah but i think overall it establishes just some, just like some really just fun 90s pop songs. And I think, I think what is even nicer too is how I feel like the flow of this album from track to track is really nice. Um, 
Like, I feel like everything comes in when it should, after each track, and so on and so forth. Um, there's just one thing I have to comment about one of the singles. Let me pull it up. The spooky cover art is hilarious. <laughs> so, it's such a mess. Um, I think that the, the singles chosen out for this period were the best, also. Um, but there's also some non album singles I'll just comment on quickly. Because there's um, some, there's like, you know, the 1963 track? Yeah. They released some, like, um, German bass remixes, which are nice. And there's also the 95 mix of Blue Monday, which is the best one. And then there's Video 586, five, which is the best New Order song. Mm. Yeah, I'm really a fan of this era a lot. Um, I think that it's just some it's just fun, really. And I think that, that lacks in the early material. It's not just... I think that they just went for just a fun album, and I think that they succeeded greatly. Very good, cool. Um, Raspberry, what do you think about Republic? I'm just gonna start off with I only have listened to the record version, so I'm gonna be a little biased. And the reason I say that is because I think side A is good, like because it basically is all the singles lined up, and everyone everywhere is kind of okay. Mm-hmm. But then the B-side, which is the rest of the songs, I remember having multiple headaches while listening to it because Ugh. it was so overproduced. Mm. Uh, especially Young Offender and Liar. I just didn't like those. I thought Times Changed was really lame. <laughs> I don't even remember Avalanche. Uh, but overall, I said it before, I think this should have just been the Republic EP with just the A-side of all the singles. Mm. I think that would have been really cool, but that's about it. Interesting point. Okay. Uh, Sponge, what do you think about Republic? Uh, it's like easily their most like consistent album of like the 20th century. The, the, I I gotta admit the A side is miles better than the B side, but the B side is still like really good. Mm. And it's I really like Young Offender and like Time Changes, Times Change. They're just like really. I really like the production on it. It was just, it's just like that kind of mis- nostalgic, weird '80s pop vibe. Yeah. Which is just, it's just a really nice record to listen to. With cool. the weird synth and weird <laughs> rapping. Cool. Okay. Well. Uh... And I don't. I don't mind the backing vocals, on, world or, yeah. You know. Um, I, I guess since since we're now in free discussion mode, I'll, I'll touch on that. Um, I especially like because at the time, because I, I think I took a break right after Republic in my reactions. Mm-hmm. Um, like this being the first taste of it, I got it was kind of a shock after not having heard it before. But then picking up with the rest of New Order, and then kind of still doing it into future albums, I kind of got like. I wouldn't say I warmed up to it. I just kind of figured like certain tracks work with it and certain ones don't. Um, The subculture remix is not. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. Um, But like, yeah, on on Republic, I've come to not really mind it all that much. I don't think it's it's that big of a like uh, speed bump tonally. Because I'm on the opposite side. I think that they're, I like this styling when they're used in electronic music of the 90s and so on mm-hmm. because i mean i've i've heard so many different types of music that's had it in it i've grown to really love it um and a lot of time what i find is that um there's only like a couple of vocalists that were actually doing this they just artists kept sampling the same works mm. and overlaying them with stuff yeah and so it's kind of cool listening to music from this period that's in the same area and finding oh that's the same thing it's like it's like it's really cool um I, I enjoy them yeah and i think new order only used like one or two female backing vocalists for their their different albums because there was like d lewis and then there was someone they used like later on in the 2000s i think right i want to hear gillian sing oh d- d- she sings on uh was that band the other two mm-hmm. I have- yeah but on like a new order track is the other two any good? 
Yes. Yes. Very good. <laughs> okay. They're good. really good. Good to know. I I just discovered them like a few days ago. I didn't even realize that they had their own little side project. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> their second album is better than the first, I think. But both are De- like, really consistent <laughs> and amazing. I definitely agree with uh, Twig there. Actually, on the sidetrack of the other two, uh, their second album, Super Highways, is like miles better than uh, their debut. I still think their debut is good, though. Oh, no, I'm not saying that it isn't. But I'm just saying, like, the jump from their debut to Super Highways, you definitely notice, like, it's just better produced and they they really grew into their sound a little bit more. Is it um, is it still just like oh. synth pop, like New Order type stuff? Yeah. No, it's 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 a lot more housey. Well, New yeah, Order it is does a little house. Bit more house. Both um, of them are. I feel like. Um, <laughs> yeah. I actually kind of want to talk about uh, just back on Republic for a moment. Mm-hmm. I did used to actually dread listening to anything after Regret because I remember like thinking that the rest of it used to be boring. But like you guys, I did end up warming up to it a little bit. But still, in my opinion, it just sounds a little bit too samey, especially towards yeah. the middle part. I think that that's what pulls it back from being my favorite release from them. Um, some of the tracks just feel redundant, even though it's just it's just nice to listen to, even if they are redundant. I, I feel like this album is kind of bookended by tracks that don't really feel like the rest of the album, because I feel like Regret is just like a really nice kind of alt-rock type of track with um, not a whole ton of synth in it, and then the rest is fairly like dance and synth-based, and then Avalanche is just like this really weird... I don't even know how you'd describe it. It's very dreamy, reverby, instrumental. And I feel like the first and the last tracks don't really fit the rest of the album. I don't know if you guys would agree or disagree. Um, I think that everything... Well, the reason how I think that sort of regret fits in with the rest of the fancier stuff is like the tambourine in the background, I think, ties it all together. It's hmm. like a very minute detail, but I think that... It worked, but with Avalanche, it's such a bizarre closer, but I find that it worked really well. I do like it as a track. I think it's pretty mm-hmm. good. Um, anything else to say on Republic, anyone? It's got uh, a really great cover. I've got to say that. <laughs> I, 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 that cover, man, I don't I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. The, the first time I saw it, I was like, Ed, it's just so squished. It's so funny. <laughs> it, it, it looks like it's been done in like, or like a eleven year old. <laughs> they do, they downloaded like a a pick stitch app on their phone and put two pictures <laughs> together. <laughs> she just got it on like the mom's iPad. It's so <laughs> gross. <laughs> okay, sure. I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. If you like, look at it. It's just yeah. so weird. Well, so, do, doesn't they, doesn't it have to do with like some kind of like fire, like Los Angeles fire or something like that for the, the left? I don't know. I thought there was some backstory to the the fire bit, but then they're fighting over the the ocean donut in the right, and I'm, <laughs> I don't I don't get it. New order. I think that's what <laughs> song you in the days there. Good, good job, Twig. I really like oh. the font. I like the font. Yeah, the font's nice. Mm-hmm. Both of them. You better you better keep that picture for a long time. I will. <laughs> All right, we done with Republic. Definitely. Oh, uh, last thing, I think the remixes of the singles are better than the singles sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I'm not sure with a lot of things. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. So we jump ahead. Uh, to, uh, how many years? Eight. I can do math. I promise. Uh, I can also do meth too. Um, so, nice. nice. Um, oh, did you find it? Yeah, it's the backstory or something. Okay. Uh, the sleeve depicts Californian life. Uh, TLDR. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, get ready. The best, one of the great Temptations songs. Also, an album from New Order in 2001. Um, I think this is a nice album. Um, it's kind of right in the middle of my ranking. 
I think it's a, it's a solid alt rock album. Is it a good New Order album? Uh, sort of. Um, so the tracks, uh, <coughs> Crystal, I think is great. Nice synth intro that transitions well into the rock section. I think it warrants its longer length. It's pretty good. Um, 60 Miles an Hour has another solid bass riff. The verses are a bit samey, but I think the chorus is good and it has a really great climax. Um, Turn My Way has just like a really nice kind of melancholy vibe. I think the bass riffs are good. Corgan's vocals, I think, are a welcome addition and the choruses are nice too. Uh, Vicious Streak has a nice mix of like 2000s synth with Hook's bass. They mesh really well. Um, really dig the chill vibe on it too. It's kind of borderline ambient. I think I said that in the reaction. Um, Primitive Notion has cool moments, but overall I think it's a bit bland. Slow Jam, um, I just... I don't love the stadium rock basic chord sound. It's just so monotone to me. Um, it just feels like a lot of similar things that were happening with like other Manchester bands around like the 90s, 2000s of just like this. I don't know. I just don't like that sound. Um, rock the Shack, just too generic by New Order standards, I think. It may be acceptable as a rock song on its own, I suppose, but just in the album, eh. Someone Like You, not as good as Vicious Streak, a bit boring overall, but I think the production choices are cool. Uh, Close Range, I dig the rock energy on that one, and I think the composition is good. And then Run Wild, um, I always like some acoustic new order, and it's not as great as other outros, but I think it's still a solid track. So uh, tracks I like are Crystal, 60 Miles an Hour, Turn My Way, Vicious Streak, Close Range, and Run Wild. So I think it's pretty good. Um, Twig, what do you think about Get Ready? So this is my yeah this one's really good. Mm. Um, if you don't count complete music, then I think that this is their second best. Um, Crystal, Crystal, six miles per hour, turn my way, vicious streak, and primitive notion is probably the best track run in any in the order album in my opinion. And then Slowjam and Rock the Shack are just ugh. Yeah. and then some someone like you, Close Range and One Wild are just really solid closers so i think that if it wasn't for those two tracks this would easily be probably number one um for me mm. i think that some of the more breakbeat tendencies with the like early 2000s drumming yeah drums here especially on tracks like vicious streak and primitive notion um are really welcome i think it's just it's just a really yummy sounding album i think um, I think that um, the best track is a Vicious Streak. I, I, I can see you picking that one. I, I feel like Vicious Streak and Someone Like You would be your favorites. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got you figured out sometimes <laughs> until you give Kate Bush a five and then I don't. <laughs> three, three, al- three albums. Man, man. All right. Uh, Raspberry, <laughs> <laughs> get ready. I have a bit of a bias because this is my first new or, new order album that I've ever heard. Wow. So I'm just going to say, I love it. Uh, especially crystal six miles an hour, turn my way, vicious streak and primitive notion. I feel like primitive notions actually pretty good. And then slow jam and rock the shack, you know, <laughs> but then, but then, you know, someone like you, it kind of picks it back up and close range you know it hits that like rock sound yeah that i think that they were trying to go for for some of this like previous songs mm-hmm. and then run wild i mean what what can i say it's a it's a masterpiece it's acoustic new order they've only done that one other time before quite nice. they're a country band at the <laughs> core <laughs> yes people of forget that of course even enjoy division yeah. it was just straight <laughs> country and it's well, so exactly. it's so hard to don't see. Don't mention them. Don't mention them. <laughs> We're not talking about them today. Country division. But but I love them. I, I mean I love this album. It's just I think it's pretty solid. Cool. Great. Sponge. Get ready to talk about get ready. Oh uh, uh yeah, this is probably my least favorite New Order album since Technique. Oh no. I, it's it's so, so that's, that's two albums. That's that's just, that's <laughs> yeah. Republican myth. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> shut up. I mean, this is. I mean, like, this is my favorite. Like, from technique onwards, mm. it, it's just too way too two thousands for me. It just sounds like the decade, like crystal and sixty miles per hour per hour. They're just they're they're too rocky for how I like my new order. Objectively mm. wrong. Uh, I think <laughs> that crystal. I think that crystal is like not as rock as just more electronic. I think that's mostly because when I listen to that track, I mostly pay attention to like the drums and backing stuff. Um, I think that the guitar guitar riff and crystal is corny, but yeah. It, it's de- it definitely like peaks at the end. The the album, the, like someone like you, is easily my favorite track. Yeah, that song's fantastic. It, it that's like I give that like a four point five and. Like the average for the rest is probably like a three. It's just, it's just not really my thing, to be honest. It's kind of it's like not as bad as it's not as bad as power corruption lies, though. Right? <laughs> there we no, go. No. There Dude, it that, is. that I, I think that that album just are kind of a bit boring. This this one's I, at least got a bit a bit of that spice. See, he's with me. Yep. I I I, f- I feel like. Because, Sponge, you said that Brotherhood was also kind of eh to you. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I could see you feeling that way with Get Ready, too. Because Get Ready doesn't, like, rock a lot, except for, like, Slow Jam and Rock the Shack. But we all agree that those are just, like, duds and shouldn't be acknowledged. But, like, Get Ready doesn't really rock any more than tracks on Brotherhood does. So, yeah. But it also doesn't have a ton of synth stuff. Like, Vicious Streak and Someone Like You are there are the kind of two synth things going on here. Anything else to say about this era for anyone? Um, um, this is just a little thing about a Crystal. I personally prefer the album version to the, like, radio edit. Like, uh, I know that's a little bit of the thing. The, in- the intro is, the, like, the best. Yeah, one. it's, like, so good. It, it transitions um, so well into the rock section, too. Like, when, when that, the like, drums come in, it's so good. I think that like the era of um this was like all of the single art and even the album art is really cool i think yeah i think that like the single art for 60 miles per hour is pretty cool i don't know i, I like i like it um yeah, yeah the looks like like propaganda post it does <laughs> What are they trying to do? The red, the red ball so it means propaganda isn't that there's um yeah, there's a one non-album single I like to comment on. Oh, um, it's like it's like a it's a mega mix of Blue Monday, True Faith, and Crystal. What? Have you guys heard of this? <laughs> no. Oh, it's like oh, a, is that? I think I know what you're talking about, actually. Um, yeah, it's just all three tracks, but they're all like mixed together. Yeah, that's that song. It's like really called New Order Mega Mix, though. I'm pretty sure. How long is yeah, it? Yeah, so good. Oh, you are a mega mix. <laughs> how, um, how long is it? <laughs> how long is it? I forget. I haven't listened to it forever, but like twenty minutes. Dang. Uh, it's it's really nice. I'll have to check that out. That's cool. Uh-huh. I would not have expected those. I mean, I, can, I guess I kind of see it, but I would never have thought to put those three together. This was the last album that they were all on together. Oh. Rest, All in, downhill from here. rest in peace, Hook. I guess my my overall thoughts on the album is I feel like everyone had a chance to shine as well. Yeah. Because, you know, like, Crystal, you got Bernard with his loud-ass guitar, and then 60 Miles an Hour, you got Hook's loud bass, mm-hmm. and, you know... And then, and then Smashing <laughs> Rock, Pumpkins Rock has infiltrates same, for a second. His same, his same <laughs> bass playing, that he's been doing the exact same thing. So it's praised for after 30 years. So. Yes. I, uh, I, I, I will say, um, I think I think he does get slightly overpraised because... Oh, a million percent, yeah. Um, because, like, I think he has a good handful of really nice riffs, but A, there, there are some songs where I'm like, dude, you're phoning it in and you're just doing the <laughs> thing that you always do and it feels uninspired. And B... Freaking change your tone for like one song, exactly. please. It's the same exact 
tone for everything. The, the coarsey, wobbly the tone. Comment me in the comments for this, but it's the same tone and the improvisation style on every track that he does. Um, like I, so. I like I like the melody. Like the I think a, a good handful of his riffs are like really well I composed. Think that the, his best moments is on the ten inch of Perfect Kiss. That's um, good. That's good stuff. And then I think that he also has some interesting stuff on um, what is it? Technique. Mm. Other than that, though, I don't really find him to be all that special. He's the worst member of New Order. No competition. I, I feel like weakest weakest link, and I think that Music Complete proves that perfectly, because without him on Music Complete, it shows that they were able to move in like such forward thinking oh, directions. Slow, slow, slow down. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. I, know. <laughs> I just I I'm gonna go on my Peter Hook rant on in Music Complete. Well, fair enough. Also. Fair enough. It's it's slightly warranted. I'll I'll say that much. But I think that like even some of his phoned in riffs could have benefited from just a different bass tone. Just like once or twice, please. It, I think it could have helped some songs. But like, and there's a good handful of songs where I'm listening to it and I'm like, this chorusy, wobbly bass tone just is not working with the rest of this mix. And yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty much all I got to say.